Welcome to Beautiful Disaster. If this is your first time stopping by, thanks for stopping by. Please stick around for a while by clicking on that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell when it appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below so I can get to know you also. Today we are doing a Dollar Tree DIY. We are making a bathtub flower pot. I hope you enjoy. First thing I do is I get all my supplies together. I got a metal pan um, for flowers from the Dollar Tree. I got a block of styrofoam or floral foam. I got some flowers. I got two glue sticks. I got my glue gun. I got a uh, piece of pipe, um, PVC pipe in a curve. I got a water spigot. I got some a long piece of PVC pipe. I'm going to take my pan outside and spray it. Paint my pan. I'm going to measure my PVC pipe to see how long I want to cut it. And then I take my special cutters. And I'm gonna, well, first I'm gonna measure how long I want it and mark it. And I'm gonna cut my PVC pipe on my mark. <laughs> Next, with my glue gun, I'm going to glue my styrofoam down into my pan. Then I'm next I'm going to take these two pieces out and spray paint them black with my Rust-Oleum black paint from Walmart. After you get your PVC pipe and your elbow painted black with spray paint, you want to take some other kind of paint. I'm using Waverly chalk paint and ink and you want to paint your top and your bottom. of your pan. I'm going to make a few little marks for my pan just to give it some character.
If there's any marks you make or mistakes you make, you can use your white Waverly chalk paint and paint over the black to cover it up. Because as you can see, I made some messes there that I've got to fix. Then I got four of the Dow Cats, and I got these from Hobby Lobby, and you want to paint them black with your Waverly Chalk Paint and ink. And you're going to let all, after you get them all four painted, you want to let them dry. Then we're going to take, after they dry, we're going to take and turn our pan upside down and glue our caps to the bottom of our pan. It don't take long for the A uh, Waverly chalk paint to dry. And they become our feet. Then we're going to take our tube in our corner and we're going to glue it together like this. Excuse me. Then we're going to take our water spigot and we're going to glue it inside of the tube of the corner.
like so. And hold it there until the glue sets up some. Then we're going to take our tube and we're going to find a spot where we want it in our pan and in our foam. Try to center it up and push it down in like that. And then we're going to glue it. We're going to glue it to the foam and to, we're going to pull it back out and we're going to put some glue inside of our stick, of our PVC pipe and around it and we're going to stick it back down in and hold it until it sets up some. Might have to add a little bit more glue to the front <laughs> of it. Don't worry about how much glue you use because you will not see it anyway. I'm going to have to put a little piece of styrofoam in behind it to hold it the rest of the way. Sort of measure your styrofoam and see how much you need. And then just cut you off a piece. And slide it in behind your piping and your pan. And then break the rest off if you can. And that'll make your pipe stick straight up. And then here comes the fun part. We start filling it in with flowers. You can either glue your flowers in or you can just place them down in. And that's what I'm doing is placing them down in. I cut mine at different heights. That way they're different heights in my pan. Let's take the stickers off. I leave my leaves on. I am using sunflowers and lilies.
and hibiscus. I'm sorry, sunflowers, lilies, and hibiscus. And just keep filling in until you got all your spots covered. So you cannot see the green moss down in the bottom. If you have to take them out and readjust them, that is fine. You can do so. It is not going to hurt at none. And then once you're done, you have a beautiful bathtub full of flowers. If you want to add some more greenery, you can. I think I'm going to add a couple twigs, not very many, just a couple. There you have it, and you have a very pretty centerpiece, bathtub centerpiece. <laughs> 